persecutions and challenges we all face and that Caymanians can still rise to be the best in the world. We must never forget that we once produced the world's greatest seamen. And in New Sidoni, and in Kareem Street Thompson, and in Charles Whitaker, we have produced some of the world's best sportsmen and women. When good things happen, people do feel good. And indeed, Sedona, you have summed it up best by stating that you have Cayman soul. What a wonderful statement. If more of us adopted that spirit and worked and lived with Cayman's best interest in our souls, there would be no limits to what we could achieve as a country. Clemson, Sedona won many collegiate awards and still holds several records there to this day. While there, more importantly, she also earned her Bachelor of Arts in English, emphasizing that as a collegiate athlete, it is important to earn your degree so you will have something to fall back on after your career in athletics is over. Her dream was still strong, and upon graduating in 2001, she took the very brave step of deciding to become a professional athlete. All by herself, Sedona moved to Texas, found herself an apartment, a car, and a coach, and continued her dream. I want you to remember again, ladies and gentlemen, that she was not following the steps of any previous Caymanian woman. Sedona was making a pioneering move on her own. In becoming the first Cam Caymanian athlete to win a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games 2010, I am an athlete myself, and I would like to know if you have any tips to share with me and other young athletes. Congratulations. Sidoni Motherson, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! It is with great humility and gratitude that I stand before you today to give my sincere, heartwell thanks to everyone. I'm really happy today and truly grateful for my life. I give thanks to God and will continue to give God thanks because I know that without him I would not be standing here today as your first Caymanian Commonwealth Gold Medalist. Woo! It has been a long journey for me, one with many trials and tribulations, but at the same time I've been blessed with many success and rewards. to meet interesting people, but one that has educated me and allowed me to bring some recognition to our country. I love my sport and will continue in my drive to become the best athlete I can possibly be, even though at times I shed many tears when I didn't win. My family has always been there for me, always echoing these words. Your timing isn't always God timing, Sidani. And this has been displayed many times throughout my career. To my mother, Mrs. Angela Whitaker, I thank you for your tough but alive, abiding love stance, which has made me into the woman I am today. Through my tears and disappointment, you have always said I was your star. You are ever present, ever honest, and ever positive. For that, I give God thanks entire Cayman Islands community, this is not just my victory or my gold medal, it's our victory. It is important that we each embrace this moment and know and believe that there are many moments like this to come in the near future. In closing, to the youths of the Cayman Islands, I leave you with these words. I was once where you are, and despite the odds I've encountered, I held on. Goals are never easy to attain. Challenges
challenges or ever make the victory that much sweeter. But with self-discipline, being persistent, and believing in yourself, your potentials are endless. I hope that my temperament will continue to show you the youth for the future of these islands and its access that the possibilities for life are endless. If you continue to work hard, remain determined, believe in yourself, and at all times, give God thanks. I implore you this evening to fight on and to dream big. My sincere apologies if I have forgotten anyone to deserve thanks or I did not acknowledge. I take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you.